Hello, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be comparing these two soft boxes, the Aperture Light Dome Mini 2 versus the cheaper and slightly larger Bessel 65cm radar softbox. So I'm really excited to do this comparison video today because I've recently upgraded my YouTube home studio office lighting and I bought the Godox VL150 and a huge 95 centimeter parabolic softbox from Nice Photo, which was a cheaper alternative to the Aperture 120D Mark II and the Light Dome Mark II, all of which saved me about half the cost. And I wanted to see whether you can still get pro results saving that money or whether it's worth investing the extra money up front in trusted brands like Aperture. Some of the time I need a smaller softbox to fit into the kind of tighter spaces in my office when I'm filming tutorial videos at my desk. I wanted to get the Aperture Light Dome Mini 2 but I also wanted to see if there was any cheaper alternatives that were sufficient quality to get the same results. Now the cost of this equipment can quickly mount up and you can't always justify that spending. So it's good to know that there are cheaper alternatives on the market. And I'm gonna show you a comparison side by side now with the Light Dome Mini 2 and the Bessel 65 centimeter. See which one you think is the aperture and which one you think is the Bessel and drop in the comments below which one you think is which. I'll reveal the answer later on in the video, but before we interrogate the quality of light you get from each of these, let's first look at the similarities and differences in terms of what you get in the package, ease of use and build quality. So first up, the aperture. This is a great size. It's only 29 centimeters deep and you're getting a 55 centimeter or 22 inch softbox. So it's still a good size and you could use it as a key light. It's a nice round shape, so you get nice round catch lights in the eyes. And the design is very similar to the Light Dome 2 where you've got the rods which all click into place. So it's easy to put up and take down. It comes with two layers of diffusion. It has an inner reflector, which also acts as a diffuser. And that reflector is either silver or gold, so you can flip it whichever side you want. So it will give a warmer light when it's on the gold side. And then you've got an outer layer of diffusion which Velcro's on as well. Also included is a honeycomb grid for controlling light spill. And this gel holder which sits in the center of the softbox and has a magnetic closing mechanism to hold your gels in place. I think this is actually unique to Aperture. I haven't seen any other um, softboxes or light domes on the market that do this. Correct me in the comments down below if I'm wrong about that. You get this nice little pouch which holds your accessories, your honeycomb grid and your diffusers. And then it also comes with this nice padded carry case which looks really smart and is really nice quality and really nice finish. And actually the whole build quality of the light dome is really good. Uh, as you'd expect from Aperture, it's a really nice material finish on the outside and everything just feels like it's well made and is gonna last. And actually the Bowens mount part of the softbox is made of um, metal and is really sturdy and really strong. So next up, the Bessel. It's actually larger than the Light Dome Mini 2. It's 65 centimeters or about 25 inches. And it also is quite a bit deeper at about an extra nine centimeters or four inches. Now this one is a Bones mount, just like the Light Dome Mini 2, but they do do them in an Ellen Chrome mount if you've got that kind of gear. So the key difference with this one is that it has a quick assemble pop-up umbrella style design, unlike the Aperture, which means you can actually get this up in a matter of seconds and it's really, really nice. So I timed myself setting up both of these and I found that it was a lot quicker to set this one up because of that pop-up design. So if you're pushed for time on a shoot, that could be the difference between you getting a shot and not getting a shot. And when you're taking these down, it has a quick release button in the middle, which just allows you to instantly take it down. The whole thing comes down and you whack it in the bag and you're done. There's no having to click out individual rods, which is a really great feature, I think. So similar to the Light Dome Mini 2, 
The Bessel has two layers of diffusion, but the first layer, the inner layer, is just a white diffusion rather than a reflector. One thing to be aware of with the Bessel is that the older design had a slightly different fastening mechanism for the inner diffuser and they've changed it to be Velcro now, but the one I received actually had the older style box, but with the newer style inner diffuser, so they didn't really fit together properly. What was nice is I got in touch with Bessel Direct, even though I bought it off of Amazon, and they were really helpful, and the guy I was talking to, Sean, just made it clear that there'd been an error and that they would post out a new inner diffusion material to me that would fit my version of the softbox. It's worth just saying that the newer design is much better with the Velcro. It's a lot quicker to put up and take down. So if you are buying this, make sure it's that version that you receive. So again, with the bezel, you get a nice honeycomb grid. You get that outer diffusion material, which actually I think is probably a slightly nicer quality than the aperture one. And you also get a little pouch to put them in. And again, they include a nice padded bag I wouldn't say it's quite as um, premium as the Aperture, but it is padded and it's solid and it will do the job well enough as well. And it is top loading, so that might be helpful if you're trying to just get things in quickly. With the bag, something to note is it is about three or four inches longer than the Aperture, but it's a bit slimmer because of the design of the softbox and the way it collapses down. It's just slightly different, but ultimately they're both really compact. So again, you've got a really nice rounded shape and it's pretty comparable to the aperture in terms of the catch lights you'll get in the eyes. So I think for me, the things that you need to consider when you're buying one of these is ease of use, quality of light that you're gonna get out of it and how much it costs. So starting with ease of use, I think the Bessel wins on that one. It is easier to put up and take down, it's quicker and Ultimately, if you need to save time, I would go with that because it's almost half the price as well. In terms of quality of light, I'll let you judge for yourself, but I don't think there's much to choose between them really. Obviously with the aperture, you can change the color temperature slightly by flipping the inner reflector and making it the gold side rather than the silver side. If you are looking to gel your lights, it's gonna be a lot easier with the aperture. So that's a consideration because the Bessel doesn't come with any kind of gel holder. So that could be a deal breaker for you. I should just say that both of these are compact enough to fit through a doorway without having to collapse them, which is really good because if you wanna move between rooms in a house or you need to travel with it, it's much easier to do than these huge parabolic softboxes which you have to take down like the Light Dome 2 and this nice photo one. And then of course, we need to talk about price. The Aperture is almost twice the price of this Bessel. Bessel comes in at about 80 pounds, whereas the Aperture is about 140, 145, depending on where you get it from. So if you do wanna save that money, this is a great option to go for. I think the Aperture overall build quality is probably slightly better, but there's not much in it. And the only thing that I might be slightly worried about is because of the umbrella pop-up design of the Bessel, it could potentially have more weakness in that design, but only time would tell. And I think both will last really well. So this has been a really interesting test for me because I'm actually looking to keep one of these. They're not just for testing, they're actually for my business. So I think from my perspective, the speed at which you can put up the Bessel and the fact you're getting a slightly larger box for half the price is really nice. But if you do need a really compact light box, the aperture just can't be beaten. It's so slim and will just fit in any little corner. And I think because of that, I might actually end up keeping the aperture just because of the nature of the space I have here. But if it wasn't for that, I think I'd probably go with the Bessel just because I feel like you're actually getting a lot more for your money and because of the speed as well. If you're out on location with this, the speed it's gonna take to put up and take down is just, it saves you so much time and I think it is critical for some people. So let me know what you think in the comments, which one would you choose? If you have enjoyed this video, please do consider subscribing and drop a like and a comment down below. Any questions you've got, I'll try and answer them. Lots more content coming your way very soon, so stay tuned for that. 
and I'll see you in the next one.